The inspiration for this concert, Splendour of Venice, actually came to me when I was in London recently for our award. We picked up the International Opera Award for Best Rediscovered Opera. And a dear colleague of ours uh, and a friend of the company, Miriam Allen, her husband is a lay clerk at Windsor Chapel. And it's this extraordinary space, you know, redolent with history. And Evensong is the Anglican version of Vespers, which is, um, a beautiful musical celebration meditative moment in the afternoon and it was just half an hour and it was the most stunning musical experience of my life really. I was just there tears falling down my face partly because the quality of the singing was so superb the English choral tradition is extraordinary but it was also the acoustic in the space and how meditative I realized it was and sitting there just listening to beautiful harmonious music in this reverberant space uh, brought me into this very meditative quality and so I wanted to reproduce that and when I came into contact with the great philanthropist uh, Judith Nielsen uh, she wanted me to put on a performance in this extraordinary space which I'm sitting in now uh, Dangrove which is this incredible space that's very reverberant so I put together a program for Judith um, which celebrated that music of the 17th century. And it's only through the support of Judith and Phoenix, which has enabled us to put on this wonderful program that we're now able to bring to the wider public. The music uh, that was written in San Marco in the 17th century in Venice is one of the high points of Western civilization. San Marco itself is, it used to be the chapel of the Doge, um, but nowadays it's the cathedral in Venice and it's an extraordinary space. It was consecrated back in the 11th century and had centuries of tradition and activity. And it was always the center of musical life in, in Venice for sacred music. Uh, the composers that we're looking at are people like uh, Giovanni Gabrielli and Claudio Monteverdi. And then we're also including some music of Monteverdi's pupil, Cavalli. And uh, we end the program with a, concert, a very famous, uh, very spectacular piece uh, designed for the consecration of a new church. Um, it's an extraordinary kind of music. The, the music that was at San Marco is what we now call polychoral. And that means to say that small groups of instrumentalists and vocalists were dispersed around this large space. And the effect of this as, an, as someone who's listening to this music is that you're not quite sure where the sound comes from. It, it surrounds you. And in the religious space of San Marco, it was almost to represent the sound of angels. You would be looking up to see a visual representation of heaven but also you'd be receiving this beautiful musical representation of heaven as well. So in a very small way, we're trying to reproduce that extraordinary flowering of, uh, of, of art that took place in the 17th century in the Great Hall uh, here in Sydney at the University of Sydney. This program, Splendor of Venice, is actually highly contrasting to our operas. Our operas are really full of drama and intrigue and bustle and there's love, there's violence, there's heartbreak, there's reconciliation. This is not this concert. This concert is about contemplation, about meditation, about renewal. It's about coming and immersing yourself in this sonorous sound world that you will never get from a stereo, you will never get from headphones, you can only get it from live performance with human beings in a space. And that really, that is a really special moment. This music is rarely done in Sydney or Australia. I can't wait to perform this music for our audience because 
it's such a contemplative, meditative experience um, that you will come away feeling rejuvenated. Coming to this concert will be like taking a wonderful bath for your soul. <laughs>